All right, let's put our very first actual video into the QLab workspace. And we're gonna do that right on top of the static image that we created before. Let's say you've been using a static backdrop and now is the time you wanna add a video backdrop to bring some life to it. So let's do that right now, it's very simple. We're gonna to go to our video folder here that I've prearranged and we're gonna grab this little video uh, of an American flag and we're gonna drop the American flag right on top of our um, current static image, the uh, red curtain that was there before. If you drop it, if you go there and go to basic, you can see now that it actually has changed the target queue. Uh, it shows that's my computer, my desktop, QLab video, video, and then it's USA American flag. Um, of course, if you have a new file, you just drag and drop the video into the workspace like that, and it'll appear just like this. Um, I'm going to delete that. Also, to delete a file from QLab, you can't just press the delete key. It will not work. You need to hold Command Delete to get that to delete. Okay. Um, if you notice, though, even though we changed the video graphic, the name has not changed, and that's because if the routine is called Gypsy Thread, and that's your video graphic for the back of it, just by changing the new video, it doesn't change the routine's name. So if you want to change it, you can just double click on it, hit delete, hit enter, and it'll put the new name right in there like that, okay? Or you can rename it whatever you'd like. Um, so now if we go and um, hit play, the American flag with all the fade cues and all that stuff has already come in exactly the way it did before except it just stopped. And that's because that's all the video loop has. It plays for, I don't know, what is it? Uh, it'll tell you how many seconds it is right here. It looks like it plays for 10 seconds and then the video runs out. It's only a 10 second video. Now, when I first started, if I had an hour pre-show, I had to make a one hour video pre-show graphic because that was the only way you could do it. Um, but now you do not need to do that because you can highlight this uh, and you can go to time and loops right here and you can hit infinite loop and on infinite loop it's going to loop forever so we're going to try that again this time we're going to get rid of the uh, the logo and by the way you can deactivate um, arm or disarm cues however you want so let's say you have a an effect a logo uh, that you do not want to use this particular venue, let's say it's a sponsor's logo, you don't want to use the, the logo uh, for that, that particular show, you can just go there, you don't need to reprogram your show, you just need to go there and turn it off. That's it. Um, I do that a lot for my voiceover cues to the stage staff. If I have multiple spotlights, they'll have spotlight cues in their ear, um, and I just go there and I turn off that individual cue. Uh, it's very, very easy to do. And then just click it back on the next time you need it. Uh, so if you go ahead and do this now, you'll see that the... Um, the American flag has come in and it's going to finish in just a few more seconds and it should have ended but it just looped over and over and over again until your entire pre-show has been running and you want to start the show. Now the fade outs happen exactly the same way as before. You fade out and stop however you'd like. So you hit fade out and I'm pretty sure that we had that connected to that image and there it goes. American flag starts to fade out exactly like it did, but it continues to play in the background until it's completely done. And then we had a stop on it, so it automatically stops. So everything you just learned for static images, the videos are identical. So if you only want this video to loop, let's say three times, let's say it was a commercial and you want it to loop every, every so often, you could go into time loops and say play count, I want it to play twice. And at two times, it's going to stop automatically. So I noticed here that if you change the loop amount, it changes the action cue here as well. I may have did that, I didn't pay attention. So a one-time one loop is going to be 10 seconds. If I change that to two play counts, it's going to change it to 20 seconds. If I change it to three, it's going to change it to 30 seconds. So there's the math right there for you as well. So. Um, and then obviously if you go into your group queue and you go into timeline, you'll be able to see 
where those three individual files that that one block right here is the first video the second block is the the video playing again and the third block is it looping for the third time and if you change that to an infinite loop it will look like this because this is only going to play one time but can continue to continue to loop so it does not make 50 versions of it. It just loops right there and that's it. Um, so now you know how to do basic video. We're going to go into more advanced coming up, but that's how simple it is to add video and on top of previous cues that you've already designed. So it's very easy to swap out video to graphics or whatever you need.